I've always adored my boyfriend, not just for who he is, but also for how open-minded and adventurous he can be. One thing that makes our relationship so fun and unique is how we both explore parts of ourselves we might not otherwise have shared. You see, he's not just the sweet, caring guy everyone knows on the outside. Behind closed doors, he's something a little different, something that excites me in ways I never expected. Sometimes, I let him wear my outfits, the ones I might wear for a night out or to feel sexy, and honestly, I love it. There's something about seeing him in my tight skirts and little tops that drives me wild, because he transforms into this perfect blend of masculinity and femininity, my sissy femboy. It started as a joke, really. We were getting ready for a night out, and I couldn't decide between two different skirts. He was sitting on the bed watching me struggle with my outfit choices. Laughing, he made a playful comment like, I bet I'd look good in that. Without thinking twice, I threw the skirt at him and said, prove it. At first, he was shy, but with some encouragement and teasing, he slipped into my sparkly pink skirt and topped it off with one of my black leather crop tops. When he looked at himself in the mirror, he blushed, half smiling like he wasn't sure what to think. But I knew, I knew how much it turned me on to see him like this. The way he looked so confident yet vulnerable, like he was embracing a side of himself that was hidden, was thrilling. I stood behind him, adjusting the skirt and tying the crop top tighter, admiring the way the outfit hugged his body. He didn't just wear my clothes, he owned them. He became someone new, someone who blurred the lines between what's traditionally, masculine, and, feminine, and it was unbelievably attractive. Now, whenever he sends me pictures of himself in one of my, sluttier, outfits, I can't help but smile. It feels like our little secret, a special connection that we share. The other day, I got a text from him, a picture of him in that same pink skirt, posing confidently in front of the mirror, my black top fitting snugly around his torso. He looked incredible, and I felt a rush of excitement. I love that he's comfortable enough with me to embrace this side of himself, to let go of the boundaries society tries to impose. I responded, telling him just how hot I thought he looked, how much it turned me on that he was my beautiful femboy. He's my sissy, and I wouldn't have it any other way. There's a special bond we share, and each time he sends me those pictures, it only deepens the connection between us. The first time we decided to go out with him dressed up as my sissy femboy, it felt like a bold step, exciting and a bit dangerous. It wasn't just about the clothes, it was about pushing boundaries, breaking rules, and embracing something most people wouldn't understand. But that was part of the thrill, wasn't it? We'd planned a low-key night out at a club we knew was more open-minded, a place where we wouldn't attract too much attention. I spent the whole afternoon helping him get ready. It was the first time he was going out in public like this, and I could see a mix of nerves and excitement in his eyes. I loved it. I picked out an outfit for him that I knew would turn heads, a tiny black leather mini skirt that clung to his hips and a tight, sheer crop top that showed off just a hint of his chest. I wanted him to feel sexy, to own it. We even went all out with makeup dark eyeliner to give him a smoldering, smoky eye, a touch of lip gloss, and just enough highlighter to make his cheekbones pop. He looked incredible, like a fierce, feminine version of himself, and I could hardly keep my hands off him. Are you sure about this? He asked, turning to me as he checked himself in the mirror for what must have been the tenth time. I walked up behind him, wrapping my arms around his waist and pressing my lips to his ear. You look so hot, trust me, everyone's going to be staring at you, for all the right reasons. He smiled, still a little unsure but trusting me. And honestly, I was ready to show him off. There was something exhilarating about the idea of walking into that club, hand in hand, with him dressed like this. It wasn't just about the clothes, it was about owning our dynamic, about him embracing this side of himself in a way that made me proud. When we finally stepped out of the apartment, his heels clicked on the pavement as we made our way to the club. My heart was racing, and I knew his was too. But as we got closer, I could feel his confidence building. His posture straightened, his hips swayed a little more with each step, and that shy smile started creeping onto his face. By the time we reached the entrance, he looked like he owned the night. Inside, the lights were dim, the music loud and pulsing through the air. It was the perfect atmosphere, anonymity mixed with the thrill of being seen. People looked, of course they did. How could they not? He looked stunning. I held his hand tight feeling a surge of pride as we moved through the crowd. At first, I could tell he was a little self-conscious, but after a few drinks and some reassurance, he began to relax. 
We danced together, his body moving with mine, the skirt riding up his thighs as he moved to the beat. Every so often, someone would come up and compliment him, sometimes girls, sometimes even guys. Each compliment made him blow a little more. You're killing it tonight, I whispered in his ear as we took a break from dancing, leaning against the bar. He blushed, biting his lip in that way that made me want to kiss him right then and there. I can't believe I'm doing this, he said, but there was a spark of excitement in his voice, the kind of thrill that only comes from stepping outside your comfort zone. You should believe it, I said. You look amazing, and everyone here knows it. By the end of the night, we were inseparable. We danced until our feet hurt, made out in a dark corner of the club, and laughed at how free we felt. He wasn't just my boyfriend tonight, he was my partner in crime, my sissy femboy, owning every part of himself and loving every second of it. It wasn't about what other people thought anymore, it was about us, about how empowered we both felt by letting go of the rules and just being. As we left the club, his arm wrapped around my waist, we both felt a kind of electric energy. It wasn't just about the night we'd had, it was about what it meant for us moving forward. We'd broken the mold, stepped out of the box, and we were stronger for it. Walking home, I couldn't help but feel proud of him, proud of us. This was just the beginning, I realized. There were so many more nights like this ahead, so many more moments where we would push the boundaries of what felt normal, and redefine what it meant to love each other, to explore each other's desires, and to just be. And as we fell into bed that night, still high on the adrenaline of the night, I knew one thing for sure, I couldn't wait for the next time.